Hey there, my friend. It's Ten. Happy New Year to you. I thought today we could spend some time reflecting and creating some intentions, some resolutions, with some questions and activities. I always like to start my New Year by thinking of something that I'm grateful for. And I do that no matter how bad the year has been or how bad things are right now. There's always something that you can be grateful for. It helps clear your energy and start thinking positive for the rest of the intentions that I have here to ask you about. So my first question for you is, what is one thing right now that you can appreciate about your life or just life in general? So it can be as small as the wind blowing through the trees. It can be as significant as a significant other in your life. So now that you've had a moment to think about it, what is one thing, just one thing, it can be materialistic too, that you are grateful for and appreciate? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's pretty great. and. See, there's always something we can be grateful for. Now that we've started on a positive note, we're going to be doing a bit of a vision board exercise. So I'm going to show you my vision board. Just give me one moment to grab it. Here is my vision board. you to start brainstorming things that you would put on your vision board so think of your wildest fantasies your wildest dreams and think about what it would look like so you don't need to have as many things as I do um, but I'll explain them so I have a guy doing yoga because I like to do yoga every day And so I want to make sure to sustain that. Um, YouTube goals. And actually, I have stickies all over that represent milestones within my um, social media career on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. Um, I have a little pet here, a dog. And a home. There's a girl. Uh, Can we see it? There's a girl there doing uh, some sunset video filming by herself. I want to be a jack of all trades. I edit all my videos. I do pretty much everything on my own. Uh, Nail biting, trying to stop that, meal prep, running, meditation. I want to dress well all the time. So... Some of you might think, yes, these are kind of attainable, but these are all things that I struggle with. And vision board is a great reminder for you every day as you see the things your dreams tell you are uh, things you really want in your life. And when you look at these every single day, it reminds me and my subconscious tends to create actions and behavior during the day, small steps to achieve these things over the course of a lifetime. So now that I've introduced my vision board to you, have you had a chance to think about what you would put on your vision board? Again, 
these can be your wildest dreams. I have a 1 million subscriber uh, YouTube medal and of course it's just something to strive for. Um, so what's your first one? That's great. Do you have a second one? Really getting your juices flowing now. And do you have a third one? Gotcha. These are all really great. Fourth one. Ooh. Yeah. That's a great one too. Last but not least, and if you can't think of another one, it's okay, but you have a fifth one. Great, and I will say that um, I would like to start with something positive, then go down to our dreams, and then slowly go through goal setting, then habits, and then we'll talk about setting an intention just to get your mind kind of uh, to see where we're headed. Okay, so if we're good with that one, let's talk about setting some achievable actions, some goals that we'd like to find for this year. Um, I'm going to ask you to think of three things that you want to realistically achieve during this year. So what's your first one? You know what, let me give you an example. So some of these are on my vision board, but something like nail biting, um, that's an achievable thing to stop for me. And actually, I got this great product. Biter B Goner from Amazon. The link will be down below. And it's a bittering agent. So whenever. No, no, no. It tastes bad. So my hands don't go in my mouth anymore. <laughs> so what's yours? Do you have any goals for this year? Okay. Yeah, you can definitely accomplish that this year. I believe in you. And uh, do you have a second realistic achievable goal for this year? And remember, you can put anything in your wildest dreams on your vision board. And these goals should be something that you would want to achieve within this year. Okay. That's great. And I'm just going to ask for one last one, a third one. If you have it, third goal. Okay. I can't wait to see you achieve all your dreams because you're amazing. And now that we have our goals, we have our dreams, we started with a positive thought. We're going to head into the things that we can do every single day. So the actions that we do let's say yoga or meditation. If I do it every day, it eventually becomes a habit where I'll feel like I need to do it every day. The same thing goes for bad things. If I eat McDonald's every day, then I will continue to want to eat McDonald's. So I'm gonna ask you to think of one bad habit, one that you'd like to release this year. And then I'm going to ask you to tell me about one good habit that you'd like to develop. And let me remind you that habits will maybe take a few days or 21 days to successfully become a part of your lifestyle. And so um, the one thing you want to release and the one thing that you want to continue should be things that you can strive for every single day. 
So what is one bad habit that you have now that you'd like to release this year? No judgment, you know, I shared my nail biting with you, so... <laughs> gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. And now that we've gotten rid of that bad habit, what's one good habit that you'd like to create for yourself this year? Could be daily exercise, meditation, um, it could be as simple as uh, walking your dog every day, if you don't already. Okay, yeah, that would be a great thing to start in your life. I can see it. Okay, great. And yeah, it's really all about restructuring our habits and it's hard to focus on everything all at once so if you can at least uh, think of one that's a great great start and that's all you really need to focus on it's those little bits that we change every single day that create our lifestyle over the year so that's great and now that we've narrowed down exactly the stuff we want to achieve and the realistic goals and the habits that we can change to get to our goals. I want you to think of one general intention for the year. That intention could be something like, I intend to reach my higher self this year, or at least tend to that higher self. It could be an intention to be more nice to all the people around you. It can be something quite general. Um, and again, the little habits that we create are the things that then um, get us to our goals. But our general intention is just a nice vague goal to create a lightness of positivity throughout the year. Um, <laughs> so what's yours? If you can think of that one. Ah, oh, I love that. Okay. I'm gonna just ask you one more time to think of something else that you are grateful for. Just one thing in your life that's not the first one that you mentioned. What are you grateful for? Great. So I think we've gone through everything and I hope that you have a better idea now of the things that you'd want to do for yourself this year. Uh, let me know how things go. I can't wait to see how they go for you. And if you end up making a vision board yourself, send it over. I'd love to see it, my friend. That's everything for today. Um, if you like the video, make sure to leave a comment. You can like and subscribe. You can also check out my Instagram, my TikTok, where I post every single day. And I can't wait to talk to you soon. Have a great, happy, prosperous new year. I wish you the absolute best uh, and I send you all my positive vibes. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. Um, but for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. Have a great day.